When I first saw Lotus in my recommended yesterday, I didn't really click on it because I thought it would be just a generic neon level. As I just looked at the, like the thumbnail of it and I thought, eh, this doesn't look too interesting. But after I actually watched it, which I did today, I can say that this level is actually pretty good. Now, before I start giving my review to the level, I want to mention, if you do end up enjoying this video, consider subscribing. It helps out a lot, and you can always undo it later. But, let me just start the review. So, yeah, before going into watching this, I didn't really care about the level much, as another reason was the only two creators in the project I really cared about much were Jenkins and Deadlocks. But, yeah, this level pleasantly subverted my expectations after watching it. The level just feels so alive with all the moving parts and flashing colors working so well with the level, and most of the parts being very recognizable and different to each other, which I enjoy a lot about levels. I've stated this before, but I just love when levels look different. For me, the first half of this level does this the best, and overall, prom I probably preferred the first half of the level. Each part just feels so different, but still fitting the level. And speaking of the first half, oh my goodness, is Scrumpy's part amazing? And it's probably my favorite part of the level. At first, I was put off by it due to half of the part having no structuring, as it uses the old swing copter, and then it needs that like little space at the top for it to work, because it's not the 2.2 swing mode. But then I realized what the creator was doing with it. The top half of this part is the indicators of the level. If you, you can see on screen now, it's like a Guitar Hero game or just any rhythm game in general, and I can't imagine how fun this would be to play. This is such a good use of making something that any other level would just look out of place or bad, making it look really cool and fun to play. It's honestly so surprising that a part this unique and cool would be made from a creator I've never really heard of. Besides them having a part in a couple of levels I played, like CPU and Shinigami, I've basically never heard of them before, so I can't wait to see more of Scrumpy's work in the future. But now, I want to talk about the second half, and well, uh, it kind of falls off for me at this part. I feel like the drop falls more into the generic spot for levels, and it just feels like any other level, going for the same feeling. Don't get me wrong, there is still great parts to the drop, and I still like a lot of them. For example, Deadlock's part is great, making you feel like you're playing a dual part while being in the normal game mode. is really cool, and it looks great. But the other parts in the drop look a bit generic to me. If this level were uploaded a couple years ago, I think I wouldn't be saying this, as it would be pretty unique and not really seen much, besides maybe like a level like Knight Rider. But I think the standard has risen to a point where these parts are now kind of just looking generic. I still think this is a great level. Also, I want to quickly mention that I was a bit disappointed when my favorite part was not from Jenkins. In fact, it was my least favorite part, and he's one of my favorite creators, so I was really hoping Jenkins made something really cool. But yeah, that's just my opinion. But I'm, <laughs> so I'm going a bit of a rant now. I will give this level a 7 out of 10, with it having some 9 out of 10 parts. But I think the second part of this level puts it down to around a 7 out of 10. Which is still really good. I'm happy that this level's made, and keep please keep in mind, this is only my opinion. You can have your own take on this level. But I think that this is the rating that I will finally give the level. This is my final rating, 7 out of 10. Good luck to Zero on verifying it, and yeah. That's all I really have for today. Peace out.